Hello, hello, sisters and brothers. My name is Tracy, coming back to share another word from the Lord with you guys. Happy Wednesday. I pray that everybody is doing well. Thank you so much to all of those that are subscribed, all of those that stop by to view, new and old alike. And thank you, thank you, thank you for the prayers, the encouragement, and all of the seeds that you sow. You guys are so awesome and so wonderful. I'm so glad that you're here. Look, let's just jump into the word. So this morning as I was sitting with the Lord, well, I was praying. The Lord just started downloading some amazing things to me as I was in my prayer time with him. Gave me a wonderful word this morning. The Lord was reminding me that um, our past, okay, all of the past things that we went through, good, bad, and the ugly, all of that stuff um, is working out for our good. And, and it's setting the stage for our purpose. Okay. Amen. Amen. You guys stay with me. The word is good. Everything, nothing's wasted. You know, nothing's wasted. I know that we look back on some things and we like, how can this ugly thing from my past, um, work for my good? Well, it's in the hands of God. So I can't, I can't, I can't tell you like how he does it because he's God. So, but anyways, it does. And so as the Lord took me down memory lane, just a little bit, just this part of my life. And this was the time where, I'm sorry, you guys, let me adjust this camera just a little bit. This was the time where um, my husband at the time um, was diagnosed with terminal cancer, okay? He was going through things, got really hard. And um, and and I, and I and he did eventually pass away. I believe it's been about five years or so now where we're, we're pushing on six. And so... Um, May he rest in peace. So I started to go, let me let me get my notes. I don't want to get ahead of myself. I started to go down a downward spiral and it was slow and gradual. A little bit of this and a little bit of that. We know how that turns out. We know how that works. That is not okay. Because a little bit of this and a little bit of that turns into a lot of bit of this and a lot of bit of that, right? Okay, and so... Um, I was messing up. I was starting to mess up. Yes, I was safe. Okay. Um, I did not know that it would take a toll on me the way that it did. I mean, I know, you know, I just thought I was stronger than that. Anyways, moving on. And so, um, and the crazy thing is, is I don't remember everything um, about that time. You know, our minds have a way of shielding us, so to speak, from tra traumatic events. So I don't remember even all of the details of that. Um, and, and I won't go into details, but anyways, I started to go down this downward spiral, right? Gradually and slowly. And I remember the Lord speaking some things to me after shortly after my husband passed. Okay. I remember the Lord speaking some things to me and, um, and I'm going to tell you about these three. The first thing was, um, that the detour that I was going down was ordained. And I heard that in my spirit, ordained detour, okay? It was part of the plan from the foundation of the world. God was allowing it. He was allowing me to go down because he, he could have changed things, you know, there's purpose in everything, right? Um, and it was, and God was going to use it, okay? It had purpose. Yes, the mess up had purpose, okay? The downward spiral had purpose. So God spoke to me, ordained detour. The second thing the Lord spoke to me um, during this time, he reminded me of the scripture of Romans 8 and 28. It just kept coming up again and again and again, okay? Mind y'all, now I'm, I'm in my little mess up here, you know? I'm doing things I should not be doing as, as a saved woman. And so, um, and he said, and Jesus is real. And I was like, I know that. I wasn't sure why the Lord kept telling me that. Anyways, it played a part um, too. And again, I won't go into details um, for the sake. I'm trying not to be too lengthy here. Um, not, not fully rushing, but just not, not trying to be too lengthy. And the third thing um, the Lord told me is that you are going to lose everything. I'm like, hey, what voice is this? No, 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 no. What, you're going to lose everything? And I'm like, okay, no, this is what we do. So I go into action in my mind like okay i'm gonna i'm gonna um i'm gonna do this i'm gonna budget my money i'm gonna be careful you know and this is what i'm telling i'm telling myself but what i didn't know was that um 
uh, about that everything part was that I was going to lose myself. Okay. We always think of these um, material things, you know, because that's where my mind was like, I'm going to lose all my money. I'm going to lose, uh, you know, all my stuff. Um, and that's what I was thinking. I never thought about I was losing me. Right. And, and oh my goodness, I tell you what, mm -mm -mm. that was so much more devastating than any material thing. Okay. Because when you lose yourself, um, you lose peace, it, a peace of mind. Let me tell you something, y'all, I cannot stress to you how priceless having a peace of mind is, is priceless. You, you, there's no price. Okay. Because when you lose your peace, let me tell you, everything seems hopeless. Okay. Everything seems and feels hopeless when you lose your peace. Okay. And so that's the part I didn't know. I was so worried about losing the material, the monetary stuff. I did not think about, I am losing myself. Okay. Amen. Amen. But anyways, anyways, listen, 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 how many of you guys know there was always a, but God, hallelujah, hallelujah. Okay. When God is operating in your life, when he has his hands on your life, things work out, right? Amen. They, they just work out because he has a purpose and a plan. They work out in the end. They work out. Amen. Amen. And no devil in hell can stop it. You can't either. Okay. We, we, we cannot stop. It. Amen. Amen. We cannot stop. God has a way of getting us together. Okay, so I go down that di downward spiral, I lose everything, and all hell begins to break loose. Okay, my life was in complete disarray. This is over the course of some years now. Okay, over the course of a few years. But my goodness, I lost everything, I lost my peace, but God was there the whole time. Okay, he, oh my goodness, he's so faithful. Y'all, you, you know how I get now. I'm already about to run, but, but. I'm only calming myself down so that I can slow down a little and you, and you can get the word. Okay. And so, um, anyways, but God was there the whole time. And, and you know what? It's so funny because we get angry about our past, right? We get angry about the things that we've done. We get angry about the ugly stuff that has happened to us and the ugly stuff that we have done, right? We have regrets. We have shoulda, woulda, coulda. Okay. Let me tell y'all something. I used to be the queen of shoulda, woulda, coulda, coulda, shoulda, woulda, coulda. Okay. I shoulda did that. I woulda did this. I coulda did that. All of that. I was the queen of it. And I always wanted to turn back the hands of time only to a certain part, okay? Because some parts of my life was like, you know, not so great. And so, um, but but I was the queen, like, you know, if I can go back like to this part, I would do this, I would do that. Not anymore, you guys, not anymore. Okay, we don't have to have regrets about our past. Um, you don't need to be ashamed or embarrassed. That's another thing that would grip me, okay? Like a straight jacket, embarrassment and shame had me so gripped. I mean, it felt like I was in a straitjacket, for real, for real. And, um, but, but God, oh my goodness, he knows how to free us, y'all. Anyways, let me go. So God showed me that he can and will use any and everything and make it work for our good. It's amazing. See, that's how he gave me those. Okay, yes, this uh, um, detour you're taking, it's ordained, I'm allowing it. It's, it's gonna be a mess, but I'm allowing it. And two, I want you to remember, Tracy, that Jesus is real and all things work together for your good, okay? And you're going to lose everything. He was letting me know, okay? He was giving me a heads up. Um, and so, but but God can use everything, okay, to work out for our good, whether you've done it or somebody else done it to you, amen? Um, how many know, hmm, how many know how good it feels to help someone because we we're always upset about our past and and living in regret and wanting to change and wanting to go back i told you i was the queen of it but how many know how good it feels when you can tell somebody else about your story and help them and then they feel you know what i'm not by myself i thought i was the only one until you share your story of what you've been through what you did what somebody did to you this that and the other okay and they and, and hope comes alive in them because they see what God has done in your life, regardless of what happened. That's why you don't need to regret your past. Hallelujah. 
It's all going to work out for your good. God's going to use it, not just for you, but to help somebody else so that he can get all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise be to the only true and living God. Woo. Let me, let me. Oh, okay. <coughs> Hallelujah. Woo. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Listen, that feeling is priceless, right? It's so fulfilling. Romans 8 and 28 is true. God does not waste anything that has happened in your life, whether you did it or someone did it to you. Okay? Because I can tell y'all some stories about things that happened to me that someone did to me. But there's no need. Okay? There's no need. I won't go into that. So let's look at Joseph real quick. Okay? Joseph was hated by his own brothers. He was thrown in a pit, falsely accused, and went to prison. All right? Now, if we were to look at that, if the story had stopped right there, we'd be like, dang, that's jacked up. Like his own brothers, like like they share blood and you want to, wait, what? I, I'm confused here. You hate me? I know what that feels like for someone that you love so dearly to find out that they hate you. They were hating you all this time and you didn't know? Oh, Jesus. That's another story for another day. So listen, but it all worked out. He even told his brothers, he said, you meant it for evil, but God meant it for good. That is Genesis 50 and 20, okay? Let's look at Esther real quick. And I'm summing this up, then I'm going to go back to the scriptures, okay? Esther lost both her parents and she was an orphan, all right? Raised by her uncle, cousin, you know. Um, <clears throat> God will use tragedy, right? He will use tragedy. He will use your mistakes. All right. Stop despising your past. Stop hating those that did you wrong. No need to hate them. God's going to vindicate you. OK. And he's going to heal you. Amen. There's there's no need to um, live in regret. Stop living in regret. All right. Stop living in regret and shame and embarrassment. All right. You don't have to do that. God's got you. God's got us. Amen. Amen. Um, stop saying the shoulda, woulda, coulda. Told you I was the queen of it. Let's not do that anymore. Let's move forward into what God has called us to do. You and me. All right. Amen. He is going to use it for his glory and his purpose. All right. Let's get into some scripture right quick and then I'm going to wrap this up. Okay. So I was telling you about Joseph. It starts over in Genesis 37, I believe. Okay. Joseph was loved more than his brothers and they hated him. Okay. That's because he was chosen. Don't us chosen ones know about that? Amen. Amen. Okay. Um, then he had the nerve to have some dreams. God gave him to him a couple of dreams. Okay. Where everybody in his family, including his mom and his dad, and it's all 11 of his brothers, I believe. All his brothers at the time. I'm not sure Benjamin. Well, anyways, um, his brothers had to bow down to him. Okay. And his brothers was like, dad, you hear him? Like he can control his dream. Right? Like that. Make him stop talking like that. My bro, I, I can't help God gave me the dream. So anyways, they was all upset and everything like that. Um, and Joseph's father, Jacob, Israel, actually, he was called Israel at this time. He sent him, I'm just moving the story forward. Y'all read it, okay? Let's go to chapter 37 all the way to 50. Just, just read the whole thing, all the chapters. It's good. It's good, good. Okay, and so um, Joseph's father sent him to take some food to his brothers. They were out feeding the, the flock in Shechem, okay? Now, verse 18 says, and when they saw him afar off, even before he came near unto them, they conspired uh, to, I mean, against him to slay him. They wanted to kill him. They seen him in the distance like, I want to kill my brother. He just make me sick. I can't stand him. Without cause, like, that's jealousy. Jealousy is a killer, okay? It'll kill you. Jealousy would kill some folks. And so that was Genesis 37 and 18. Um, but instead they put him in the pit, in the pit. They put him in a pit. Listen, y'all, was he not going to die anyways from starvation? Like, aren't you still killing him? Talking about let's not shed innocent blood. But, okay, so you're not going to stab him with the knife, but you're going to put him in a pit where he will die. Starve to death. Something crazy happened to him. Okay. Anyway, so that was, they wasn't thinking, they wasn't thinking. Okay, anyways, um, and it didn't work, okay, right? It did not work. Besides, Isaiah 57 and 17 says what? No weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. Amen, 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 amen. 
So I'm just going through these. Um, I'm just going to give you the scriptures. I'm going to put them in the description box. Uh, Genesis chapter 37. You can skip over 38. It's up to you. I just say read 37 through 50. All right. Now, listen, Queen Esther, remember in Esther 2 and 7, it says, we know that she lost her parents. This is what it says. And he, that is Mordecai, bought up Hadassah, that is Esther, his uncle's daughter, for she had neither father nor mother. And the maid was fair and beautiful, whom Mordecai, when her father and mother were dead, took as his own daughter. How beautiful is that? Okay. And we know the story. Y'all read over in Esther. Just read the whole book. It's a good read. All right. Just like the word of God is just a good read. Amen. It will change your life. Hallelujah. It is living and alive. Amen. Amen. Um, and so, and we know the story. So Esther went to the palace with all of the other virgins because the king was looking for a new wife. Vashti had messed up. He got rid of her. Okay. And, um, and God, but God strategically placed Esther there. All right. Oh my gosh. God strategically placed Esther there. Okay. Her losing her parent, her being an orphan did not stop God's plan and purpose. Uh, can you imagine? It was devastating. She lost both her parents. All right. God strategically placed her in the palace. The Jews were in trouble. And she was there for such a time as this, Esther 414. Okay, God has strategically set the stage in your life and in my life, in spite of the bad, in spite of the ugly, okay, in spite of the mistakes, in spite of what people have done to you, in spite of what you have done to people, in spite of what you have done to yourself. God has strategically set the stage. Hallelujah. Oh my God. Set the stage for our life, your life and my life for such a time as this. Amen. Don't despise your past. Don't live in regret and shame and embarrassment and shoulda, woulda, coulda. Okay. It will grip you like a straight jacket. No. Um, and so, yes. Okay. God set the stage of your life. He allowed what he allowed. Nothing is wasted in the hands of Almighty God. Nothing is wasted. Amen. He will use it all. Listen, you guys, that's the word. Woo. Oh, my gosh. I can get up and run, dance, do something. That is the word. God is so good. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Oh, I give him praise, glory, and honor. He is my everything. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 And he's yours too, okay? Listen, let me get off of here. I love y'all. Listen, listen. If you're new in Christ, enjoy your new life with him, sweetheart. It is the best decision that you could ever make. All heaven is rejoicing with you. If by chance you have fallen away and you're just now coming back, what do I say? The most important thing is that you are back. And I celebrate with you. Enjoy your renewed life with Christ. It is the best decision that you could ever make. Yes, all heaven is rejoicing with you too. May the spirit of the living God, that is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Rest upon you and your family. You all be blessed. I love you so much. Thank you for all that you do for this ministry over here. It is truly a blessing to me. I love you so much. And, and Jesus loves you so much more. Listen, listen. God has set the stage over the course of your life for such a time as this. You be blessed. Have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.